So there's today's job. A leaky differential cover. Been leaking for probably about a year now, but it's getting worse. I got one to replace it. So that's today's task. Task, I should say. Two coats under coat and her rocker guard, sorry. And a couple coats of paint. Should keep it from rusting out for a while. Hopefully. That part done. It's off. Now, I suggest not to do this because it's hurt on your gas mileage. There's been what I've been running for gear oil in it. It's a little too thick for a light duty vehicle. It's hurt on the gas mileage. There, good angle there. So there's what's going on when I put the new cover on it. So, according to what I've been told at the dealership, they don't actually use a gasket on there. I expected they would, but they don't. So, we're going to try some of this stuff. Gasket maker. Hopefully it does the job. Actually, you know what? I should probably wait until I've got the surface underneath there cleaned up so I can put it on under there too. Yes. Yes, I probably should. Okay, so lesson I learned today. I changed the differential cover. You need to wait for the fluid to drain. Before you start, take the vehicle around the block a couple times, warm up the fluid, then take the cover off. That shit takes forever to drain out of there when it's cold. Yes. 
Okay, yeah, I'm trying to do it with this tube just ain't working. Turn that. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess all I can do now is hope I get enough on there. Should be. Put a bead around the differential hole, too. So. Well, I'm to find it. It's on there, and the bolts are finger tight. Tighten them down. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh balls. I bet that's going to leak right there. Probably going to leak like a bastard. But there ain't much I can do about it right now. I don't have any way to tap that hole out. the best. not what I intended to happen at all. Now if that bolt had broken up there, it'd be less of a problem. Well, yep. try and see what happens, I guess. Okay, it's on there and filled up. No sign of leak just yet. 
but I won't know if that hole is going to be a problem, if that broken bolt is going to be a problem or not, until I actually dry the truck and warm the fluid up. Wait and see, I guess. About all I can do for now.